there is there is a power in the music it brings people together uh, my name is uh, Strahil Velchev. I'm from Bulgaria, from Sofia, uh, and I make electronic music. So uh, I have an artist name, and the artist name is King. I perform live, and that connects me with, uh, with a beautiful brand Novation. I'm mostly known with the rather danceable uh, electronic music I make, so I would say house and techno in general. I started recording music uh, at about uh, 1999, uh, 2000, and uh, my friend, uh, who is now my studio partner, Konstantin, Konstantin Petrov, he showed me a lot about uh, making music with computers. Uh, I wanted to start earlier, I just haven't got the right, uh, the right equipment to do it. And the urge to think about making music was uh, the fact that uh, when I listened to a lot of tracks, I, I thought that certain elements could be better, uh, certain uh, parts of the music could be extended. And I didn't really want to compose music, I just wanted to change the existing, the existing uh, music I like. And at some point I started doing it, and uh, day by day, track by track, I started to compose my own, uh, my own uh, tracks, which led to me becoming a producer. Uh, I'm afraid I'm a bit narrow-minded towards music because most of my life I've been listening mostly to dance music, uh, electronic music, and um, luckily I'm developing my, my taste. Uh, I'm expanding a bit. Uh, also because uh, my wife, uh, Rachel, she's a singer, songwriter, and uh, she uh, is outside of the electronic music field. Uh, and uh, when I got into the music, I was basically strictly holding on to house, techno, breakbeat, jungle, all the, all the subgenres of, uh, of the electronic music. Uh, and now, uh, when I make dance music, uh, what I do is still very rooted to, to my origins but uh, I'm expanding uh, and what um, uh, changed in the past couple of years was uh, since I perform live my music is, uh, is less programmed, uh, it's less uh, numeric. When you count to four not always uh, something happens uh, because I get very inspired by uh, not only the music I listen to but uh, also the music I make live on stage. So I guess that was the biggest change, not so much the, the choice of sounds, uh, more the way I, uh, uh, I make arrangements. Oh, now what gives me inspiration uh, to make music? Uh, basically everything uh, gives me inspiration. Um, uh, life, um, good experiences, bad experiences. I'm basically uh, living in a country where uh, there are a lot of problems. Um, the people are generally not happy and uh, I do music which is rather positive. Uh, sometimes I make tracks which are very aggressive, uh, but then I do, do also tracks which are extremely happy. And uh, I guess that's a reaction to the general sadness in the area I live in. And then, you know, meeting friends, making wonderful gigs, listening to live acts and DJs around the world before and after my show. When I started uh, playing live, that was exactly 10 years ago, the launch pad was uh, two of the things I bought and it became the center of my setup and still till today is the center of my setup. I'm also using it, using it in the studio because I'm just faster in uh, capturing uh, ideas, replaying ideas. Also I'm I guess I'm on stage much more often than I'm in the studio these days. Uh, so the launch pad is my third hand and uh, that's why I, I started using it in the studio. I don't know if there was no launch pad, maybe I would still perform live, but it would, it would be very different. And uh, what I was thinking earlier is uh, as much as uh, Roland 909 and, and uh, 303 are techno and acid, uh, launch pad, uh, the modern uh, controllerism, the modern expression of, of uh, electronic music life acts, uh, because that was the first affordable and uh, user-friendly grid controller.